Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we got some more budget content for Arena. Um, as always with my budget decks, they're intended as Arena decks, not paper decks. So the price in paper may vary. Um, generally what we do, try to do is keep it under 10 Mythic or Rare Wild Cards for the entire 75. Um, so this particular deck is a mono white uh, aura style, like boggly uh, deck. You put it on a one drop, put a bunch of like uh, auras on top of it smash in. Uh, Luris kind of gives this deck some redundancy because it lets you cast stuff from the graveyard once your creatures die. Um, so this is kind of a deck, it's, I've seen a couple lists going around the uh, Channel Fireball Magic Fest uh, dumps that have gotten like four wins. Um, so I kind of modified one of the lists, uh, fixed up the sideboard to something I'd like. So this full 75 is eight rares. Um, realistically, you can play this with one rare being Luris. Um, but I added some cards for utility and some hate cards uh, to play around with the meta. So basically what we're trying to do with this deck is play like an all seed or ideally a healer hawk or ginger brute on one and then strap it down with a whole bunch of auras and then we have protection spells. So like uh, this taps a creature and gives a plus one three uh, this gives plus one one in vigilance. This gives vigilance one one and deals damage with its toughness. You'll notice like uh, this card gives one uh, plus two toughness. This gives plus three toughness. So it's kind of an inverted uh, way to deal damage. And then you have ways to protect it in God's willing and Karametra's blessing uh, that give it protection or hexproof uh, from certain effects. Of note, if you are giving a card protection and you are say protecting from a Teferi bounce. You cannot give it protection from white because then all the auras will fall off. So something to keep in mind. Uh, we also have for all that glitters, which is just a powerful effect to kind of make these little dorks huge. And then because we're making things really big, we got a shadow sphere in here. Um, I opted to add three castle Arden Veils. It's just another way because sometimes what will happen with these decks is you just get all auras, no creatures. It's a way if the game goes long and you don't have Luris available to create some creatures to throw things onto. Sideboard wise, let me switch the views so it's easier to see. We have fight as one as some more protection spells. Three graph diggers cage. This is to protect from agents sneaking into the deck and stealing your creature or cat oven or Winota. Um, we are a Luris deck, but we're not dedicated all in Luris as like a combo. So being able to shut off the opponent's more redundant strategies is important. Uh, Apostle purifying light is graveyard hate and happens to house most of the cat oven deck. Uh, Devote Decrees versus all the Abosh decks, uh, Glass Casket versus Aggro, and Mirror Shield is a way to give your creatures Hexproof. Um, so interested to try this out, see how it goes. Uh, I'm kind of on a streak in Ranked, so we'll hang off on playing Ranked games for now, see how it fares out, and then potentially if it's winning some games, we can take it to Ranked. So we we'll try to do about one budget deck a week. Um, so if there's any kind of ideas in terms of certain archetypes, strategies, stuff like that you'd like to see, do let me know in the comments on YouTube. Um, otherwise, we're gonna be testing out some decks. I'm gonna be playing in the MCQ qualifier next week. I finished top 1200 last month. Um, right now I'm leaning, unfortunately, I know it's not exciting, but to Jeskai Luka, I'm 13 and two in practicing with the deck and some of that is my only two losses have been against the mirror which i'm trying to figure out that matchup i am testing an abzan control list um, that i would be potentially interested in trying out um so i might give that a whirl as well uh yeah i think this is fine um opponents on yorian so Need to be mindful of it's a fairy, so I'm going to differentiate my effects. I'm going to go Healer Hawk on one and then Brute Sentinel Eye on two. Okay, so Abzan colors, so interested to see that what's coming out of here. Um, so my control list originally was 60 cards, and then I realized it's much better to play Yorian. So not bad against a grindier deck. Uh, I think we just do this. See what they bring out. They're going to have four mana this turn, so if they shatter, then it's kind of disgusting for us.
The nice thing is with Sentinel's Eye, it lets us play these things back from the graveyard. Let's pump up the Brute. Uh, this is Flash, but it's fine. Escape, you need two other cards. So I'd really like a protection spell. I'm going to hold this back right now since we can't equip it anyways. The multiverse provides me with yeah. Fascinating new so this is the kind of the downside of this approach. Put on the Wolf Willow. Surprised I didn't do it against the Othakaya. Now we're flooding a bit. So had we had something like an Eidolon or God's Willing, anything like that would have been pretty good in this matchup. I'm going to take Calyx down. <laughs> Alright, so not the best showing. Um, this matchup, we do want the fight as ones. And the Mirror Shields... I think that's it. We didn't see what their block walkers are, but we can probably just beat them down. Um, Sentinel's Mask gives lifelink. I think we can just cut those. All that glitters is better. Also, don't think we need Shadow Sphere in this matchup. Let's run it like that. So I think we need to be conscientious and dig for some protection spells. So this hand's better. Let's go Healer Hawk on one. And then I'll probably go Sentinel's Eye, hold up the Blessing. No Teferi in this matchup's good, so we can keep our protection spells going. What are the chances they have something like Heartless Act? I think we hold off. We lose a point of damage, but I think it's better to be safe here. Athenia. Just hoping for another enchantment there. Let's see if they take the block here. I can get it back with Luris afterwards, so it's fine. I just want to get this off the battlefield, and I want to keep this as an instant speed answer. Guess I could have done it the other way, but we'll see what they do here. So wait for them to target. Just go all seed. So if they have something like Crya Carnarium, it's a little awkward. Shatter also gets us here. They have Arkin. So it's a little bit more Enchantressy built. Let's see if they take the block. Them blocking there seems kind of loose. Um, I think we wait on Luris. If they have a board wipe, then I don't want to commit it. So punish there. Okay, all that glitters is nice here. Gaining five a turn with vigilance is also really nice. You don't have death touch.
Not gonna take the block here. I can try to block it next turn. Doom foretold. Okay. Um. Can get rid of Sentinel's Eye. Creature cards in graveyards. Players can't cast spells from graveyards. So let's get rid of Sentinel's Eye. I want to keep the protection spell. Uh, just pass the turn here. This does gain him three life. Probably falling too far behind here now. Doom Foretold is pretty bad in this current meta. No, sack to Doom Foretold. I can give it God's Willing, but at this point, I can't give it Pro White because then my enchantment falls off. So, not the best showing so far. Run it back for some more. Yeah, so I love Doom Foretold. I have the full arts in paper. I had the Esper deck built from last season. Um, but with all these kind of auras and omens and stuff, the incidental value from it doesn't really come into play. Plus, there's a lot of token generation. Um, stuff like Kuranos is kind of a pain for us. We weren't able to recast our Eidolons every turn. Had they not had Kuranos and I could have just basically gotten around their lock, it would have been a bit better. Uh, like, I mean... Opponent goes first. We don't know what they're on. Let's try it. We're very screwed if a creature dies. Figure we're on the draw. If we hit a land... Don't have a stomp. Don't have a stomp. Don't have a stomp. No blocks. No stomp. No stomp. Alright, so we can gain two a turn. I can make this bigger. I can also deal with its toughness, so then we hit him for five a turn. Might be able to race them. Another land would be very good. Perfect. So I think what we do here is do this. Any of these give vigilance. This gives vigilance. Now we have a 6 6 vigilance life linker. They can attack in both with cleave. I'm gonna block here because Cleave doesn't kill us. So we still gained a bunch of life that turn. Um can throw Sentinel's mark on it. That gives us 8 life gained. They hit us for 10. It's not really that much. So let's maybe go... This. Hit him for 7. They attack with this, I can give it Hexproof and Indestructible and kill their Annex and gain a bunch of life. Alright, we found the matchup that we needed in the meta. Healer Hawk Tribal.
All right, we did our thing. I think we netted life after that. Yeah, just one one pigeons go. Okay, so devout decree glass casket in this matchup. Um, the one thing is if they have um, the two mana pro white thing, we're in pretty big trouble. Uh, Sentinel's Mark gives a lifelink till end of turn, but I don't think I want that many two mana enchantments. All seeds fine. That gives it a big toughness. Need two cuts. Solid footing was actually decent there. Uh, I think we might even be. Uh, we're at what, 20 land? I don't want to cut another land. God's Willing's good in this matchup. Blessing's good. Sentinel's Eye's fine. Maybe on the play, get rid of a Shadow Sphere. And then just. God's Willing. The thing is with God's Willing, um, if they have Embercleave, how protection works with that is. They have to assign damage as though it's lethal. So if you only have one toughness, they assign one and then anything else would be trample over. So it doesn't work exactly as we'd want. Opponent goes first. We are on a ginger brute plan of not doing much. I think we mulligan. Wow. Okay. Fervent. Um, let's go all seed here. Because what I can do is I can use it with blessings to kind of chump. So yeah, this is what I was worried about. We don't really have an answer for um, Berserker. Actually, I could have played Ginger Brute, but let's make them play out some stuff. So I can exile that next turn, which is nice. So, not the ideal play, but it takes a body off and gains me this three life back. think we want God's willing actually God's willing with ginger brute can get around this unclaimed berserker this thing can't block we aren't gonna block so let's gain two life the stomp and then they take our God's Willing. The protection there is relevant. We are pretty dead, folks. No, 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 no. We juked them last game. But these all that glitters aren't doing that much right now. Play draw is probably a reasonable variance in this match so let's take the trade there do they have ember cleave they don't they can all that glitters on something but they don't they just gets plus one one Didn't draw the lines that game. Going down to five hurts against the mono red deck. Uh, maybe fight as one is better. Just run it like that.
It'd be cool just like hawk on one. Maybe some sort of protection spell. Okay, well I asked for hawk on one and some sort of protection spell, so. Give me no shock, no shock, no shock. No shock. That's definitely a shock. And now our hand's straight garbage. So, the one downside with these strategies is you do tend to go all in. I think it's right to still wait here. They got our pump protect spell as well. Yeah, we're dead here. Weird, weird mix of games. I do congratulate the, the player that managed to get four wins at the uh, Magic Fest with this type of build. Feels very, that's the, always the thing with boggles. If they answer your immediate threat, maybe that game we play it slow. Don't play out into the shock game one. Or turn one. This hand's awkward. And we only have one creature. Okay, so... Playing against Yorian, so don't need to be too worried about removal on one. This is the Simic version, so not as severe. So we go kind of protect ourselves, hopefully. The problem is like verse to fairy. It gets a little awkward. Because what I'll have to do is if they resolve it to fairy, that's just blue green. Oh, elementals. Okay, so this version is going to be slightly different. Are they just blue green? Okay, deck. I'm cool without drawing any more lines. They might just be missing red. Like, I don't see the point of playing this without red mana. Doubling up on, like, Omnath and stuff like that. Okay, they got Cavalier. Okay. Playing the game. They missed all their lands, which also bodes well. We are not to attack there. Um, I kind of want them to block with the Cavalier. And we have deals damage it's with its toughness, yeah. So they don't block next turn. I could add four power and then we can kill them. So the strategy of just all in pigeon has been working. Uh, nothing else has. Okay, they're tapped out. They don't block with Cavalier, or if we get another one of those tap effects. Hmm. 
Now they decide to attack for one. They're forced to block now. We also gain 10 life. They can put back Thassa. Don't really think they're at the stage where they want the Spute to be something they put back. Put Omnath back. Genesis Ultimatum. That's cool, but pretty sure you're still dead. Do I want Cage in this matchup? I imagine they play Agents. But are they really getting stuff out of their graveyard? Like, they have the Genesis Ultimatum, so if that's happening, I'm probably dead. Protected here so they don't get a copy. And then that way they don't have a flyer, and now they're dead. Sick! All you need is pigeons. Uh... I almost think we just run it back. Like, do I want the glass caskets? Maybe for Uros? And like the stuff like that. Cage might not be unreasonable. On the play, just get rid of these Sentinel marks. Get rid of Shadow Sphere. Play a couple cages. They have Uro that comes back. They have Genesis Ultimatum. They may, they usually don't play Finale, but Finale is something potentially. Nope, new creatures, really. I would like one manas, please. Thank you very much. Hey, yeah, give me a sec. I'll check out the list. So here... I think what we do... Just play this out, say go. Next turn, I can all that glitters and then hold up protection. Esper Doom. I, uh, I was trying out something very similar. I'll, let me save this. I'll give it a shot um, after this, or uh, sometime this week. I have an Abzan version too. Uh, if you want to check out the deck, if you're on uh, PC, there's a little widget right here. Um, if not, I can link the deck list in the chat. Uh, I think we just pass here. Hmm. Get a pro blue. Sick. All right, so elementals is the deck we can beat up on. 
There you go. Let me just give Arena a quick reset, getting a little bit of a stutter here, and then we'll fire it up. Play one more, see how the deck goes. Um, I've been working on, because I'm playing in the uh, MCQ uh, next weekend, uh, the qualifier. So I've been testing out decks, a lot of the aggro decks kind of style haven't been really doing that well. So I'm probably going in with Jeskai Luka, it's not the most original deck obviously, but it's very good. But I've been trying a couple non-blue control options, so this is one that I'm going to play a video on it probably as part of the next stream, but it's like an Absan Enchantress version no doom foretold but um casualties stuff like that ramp up like abzan ramp uh no wallpaper is the negate from ixalan that card art is beautiful it's one of my favorites we'll do the abzan one next stream uh for the next stream I had it as a 60 card deck, I played a couple games with it, and then I realized I'm playing a bunch of enchantments, uh, I might as well just put in 20 extra cards, play Yorian, and then double up all those enchantments. So I haven't tested out this Yorian build yet, um, but seeing how it works. Just being able to like casualty someone pretty early in the game feels good. Okay, so nope, we are playing Luris. Okay, I'll keep this hand. Um... Probably Sentinel's Eye. So hopefully this isn't cycling. We can probably outgain life, but at a certain point Zenith Flare is going to be pretty demonstrative. Cat Oven. So having a flyer against Cat Oven is very good. Uh, however, if this is a priest version of the deck, then we are in a lot of trouble. Um, I'm going to play it safe this turn because they could technically go red mana, claim oven. And I don't think I want to deal with that. I really want to find an Abzan deck that works. It might have to be historic now that we got uh, Unburial Rites. I've tried Legendaries, I've tried Graveyard, I've tried Midrange. You name it, I've tried it. That and any sort of deck that I can use with Clothis. Yeah, it feels... it's tough because... A lot of the hate in the format right now just kind of gets you by accident. Okay, so if they do drop Priest, I'm going to play Luris out. Just so I can sack the Luris. We're going to try to ride this, uh, this little hack to victory. We draw, like, we need the land to be able to create some tokens that we can get around Priest. So like with cycling, how you always want Fox on one, this deck seems like we've won pretty much every game we've had Hawk on one, and we've lost every game where we didn't have Hawk on one. And like if we had something like Ginger Brute or um, Eidolon in this matchup with the, the Cauldron Familiar, it would not be nearly as good. Okay, so concern here is they can get this large enough. That's actually pretty solid because it puts an extra power and toughness. We just race in now. If anyone has a good Ember Cleave deck, let me know. Because uh, I don't want to wait another two weeks to go back to Historic Gruel. So 
So they sack the cat. They gain one more life. It's just auto pass. I just haven't found a good enough deck. I might try out the cavalcade deck again. See how that goes. I tried out, so there's um, a list going around on Twitter. It is a Naya tokens list that uses Luka to get Enray's Forerunner. Looked really sweet. Tried it out. I could. Computer. So they attack in here. These getting are pretty big or something to be mindful of. It's actually a pretty solid draw. Just gives me something I could throw in front of one of these dread hordes. Interesting they went with that. Because I can block this turn here and then play out Lurus. And then cast it again. Because they can gain some life here. No, sometimes what happens is if Arena's running too long, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what's happening with the computer. Um, but if Arena runs too long, when I stream, it just locks up my system. I'm trying to figure out if it's overheating. Um, it, the computer's fine, like uh, specs wise. It's i7, 9700, 32 gigs RAM, SSD. RTX 2060 liquid cooling it's just when I stream sometimes it's random hiccups so I was supposed to have my buddy who's a technician like for the university look at it but that was before the whole corona thing uh, for the most part it seems but like usually I'll keep a window open while I stream just to air out the room but we had a random um, random hailstorm today. It's a polar vortex for like a random day. I gotta take a look though. I'm gonna probably put in another fan, but I do need to dust it. So I'm supposed to dust it today too, but I don't wanna open up a computer when it's hailing outside. So healer hawk beat downs. Uh, uh, so now we get the sideboard bug. So this is a bug sometimes. when so when arena crashes and you have a companion you get this bug so i've found sometimes if you just kill it and then rerun it it'll work otherwise you just have to wait for the time to go so we're not going to be able to sideboard for this game unfortunately which is really annoying So what we'd bring in in this matchup, you have your cages, your devout decrees, your glass caskets, and the um, pro black thing that can exile. Okay, whatever. Let's just fire up another one. Arena. All right, let's play this out. See how it goes. Actually, I want to see how this deck fares in best of one. Best of one's meta is pretty like aggro based. So I want to see how it does uh, in this particular matchup. I think once quarantine's done, I'm gonna try to rebuild the desk here as well. I want one of the uh, the rising desks, the standing desks.
my work my stream studio is now my okay so this is the salti variant um i don't think they'll really have a play on two so let's just do this um yeah so half the day my work like i do my day job here so I'm thankful I have like the dual monitor set up and everything. Okay, well, that was that's how you beat Saltai Mutate. You play three one drops. Let's run this back, see how it goes. But I think we want standing desk. Kind of retool some of this stuff. I'm using like a shitty IKEA desk right now. goes first let's try it what are their colors I'm sad. if they show red then they're more likely to have a spell on two Ooh, aristocrats What are the chances they have removal? I'm gonna be cautious. I can go all that glitters next turn. Makes it pretty big. If I had another creature, then I'd be a little bit more okay going all in. So they are aristocrats. The fact this makes you want to sack at every permission is very annoying. All right, here's my five power. So this game goes a lot different if we had um, like healer hawk on one. Sentinels mark this turn. Bastion. Yeah, they're full of Abzan aristocrats. Might be just black white that they're using the Triland. They do get a free block there. Okay, Ginger Brute's actually pretty good here. Um, I'm going to put this on here just because it gets um, Vigilance. Played out the Brute because it is an artifact, so it powers up thing. So all we need here is one of our pro colored cards. Notably, we have to go pro black. Or if we get something like Shadow Sphere, I'm gonna start making this uh, brood a little chunkier. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control. Okay, we do have God's Willing. I want to do this where if they block, I can blow them out. So they do get, th they actually gain life from this attack. Them being a white deck and us being all in on this all seed is a little annoying. I can't give it pro. Might just drop Luris down next turn if we draw another land. 
Let's go pro black here. Another Eidolon is not really that useful. You have Vigilance too, right? So I'm just giving it a blockable here. Get some chip damage in. As we drew it up, 42 to 22 with us having a, a 9-11 attacker. So any future enchantments are going under the Brute. General Kudro is something to be mindful of. We can get them to sack some stuff and then protect it. Human, oh no, you're a soldier. So they only have one human. Make this big now. they block with Kudro there. Seems like they're out to being able to uh, kill one of these creatures. Uh, give them indestructible for the turn. That's fine. So that's going to be just a reoccurring blocker. See if they sack two humans here to try to kill one of my things. 46 cards. Well, I figure we eventually get to a point where we just have a big uh, healer hawk or... We can draw into the shadow sphere. If we draw a shadow sphere, then we're golden. Hey DMAC, um, so, sorry, give me one sec. Let me just do this attack and then I uh, will let you know. So if you are on a computer, uh, there's a little widget on the right hand side here. Uh, you can just hover over it and you will see the deck list. Uh, if you are on mobile, I can link it here, but all my deck lists go up on aetherhub.com. So everything we play will be there as well. So this is a particular list we're playing. So we played some best of three games. Um, then Arena decided to crash and give us the companion bug where we couldn't sideboard. So we're just testing this out in best of one as well. So let's just protect this. Lots of triggers for the opponent. Us having protection spells is good. I don't use Stream Decker just because a lot of my content's linked to Aetherhub. Uh, I'm one of the content creators on the site. So usually have everything linked through there. It's easier because when I post deck lists there, then I can link the YouTube videos that accompany them. So it's uh, easier to just follow along for people afterwards. I'm 
just attacking in here gains with me life. They only have the one human. So they're gaining some life here. I'm just gonna play out Luris here, it's another attacker. Don't think I need two Karametra's Blessings. They're only drawing a card a turn. Ginger Brute being an all-star here. So I'm going to hold off the attack with the Luris just because it gets chumped pretty easy here. Opponent's deck's pretty cool. I think it's just straight black-white. We haven't seen anything to indicate the, uh, the green from the Abzan land. So my guess here is block, sack, and then I protect. Drawing all these Karametra's blessings this game has been actually pretty solid. So this list is eight rares. I think four of them are in the sideboard that are just kind of situational cards, like Cage, stuff like that. Uh, and then three in the main board are these Castle Ardenvales, you can really play this deck with just Luris if you want to go super budget. I like the castles for redundancy, just having extra availability of mana. Um, this lets me castle and do that, so you can't be blocked. Let's just attack with Luris this turn. Forces them to use some of these blocks. So they're not quite dead. I can give this plus two, but they gain a life off this combat. Because if they didn't gain the life, we could have done that before the triggers of the death go on the stack. Uh, and then kill them that way. They're basically dead though, unless they have... No, actually they're dead, because this gives them destructible. And hexproof. So exile doesn't work, and um, even if they had like a board wipe, it doesn't do it. Sometimes you see these aristocrat decks do play board wipes. Um, when your stuff dies. Yeah. 55 to 9. On going the honorable way. Alrighty. So we've gone about an hour with this deck. It's usually what I like to do with the decks to demo. Um, it's fun. It It's a little glass cannon-y. I think what I'd want to do is play one more creature in it. Maybe something like Beloved Princess because it can't be blocked by creatures power three or greater. Um, just one other one drop I think would be beneficial. Um, just because like there's a few games, probably something with flying or evasion. Like when these dies, you get cats. Yeah, I'd probably play like Beloved Princess, play some numbers of these, get rid of these Sentinel marks, play like three of these, get rid of the Sentinel marks and you're probably okay. Um, the evasion was good. If we could play eight healer hawks, I play eight. Um, but overall, it's a fun deck. If you just want to play something budgety, something a little bit different, you can go with that. Um, so I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, I probably will be back and we can run uh, some Abzan control. Abzan enchantments. Um, just going to take a quick, probably 10-15 minute break. And then I'll be back with some more. Going to refill some coffee, grab a little snack.
Um, but uh, I'll tweet when I go live again. All right, thanks for stopping by. If I don't catch any of you uh, later, have a great one. Stay safe out there and appreciate you stopping by.